Hello, what is up my chefs? Chefy here again back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to locate the aether biome in your new Terraria world. Now just a couple of things that you need to be aware of. This needs to be a world created after 1.4.4 because that is when the biome was added to the game. If you have an older world made before 1.4.4 you can still get shimmer into that world. I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. But I've created a brand new small world. All you have to do is go to the ocean of one of your biomes. And while you are traveling, you need to pay attention to a couple of things. One, where the jungle is or where the dungeon is. The aether will always spawn on the same side as the jungle, which means it's always on the opposite side of the dungeon. So as you're traveling, if you run into the dungeon, you'll want to stop and go back the other way. Luckily for us, we picked the right side. This is the jungle side. So this is the side that the aether biome will be on. Now, once you're at the ocean, this is where you'll want to start digging down. You could dig down right next to the water. I recommend going back just a little bit. There's not an exact amount. You can do however far you want. The aether will always spawn 50 blocks away from the edge of the world, which probably is about halfway through the ocean. So you could dig down um, right next to the water, but I think it's safer to dig a little bit farther away. The aether biome is pretty big though, so it's pretty hard to miss. And then once you pick your spot, you just want to dig down. And you'll know you'll be in the aether because the blocks will become starry, kind of like you're in space. Alright, so I dug all the way down and I did not find it. Not to worry, that doesn't mean that the aether is not in this world. It just means I missed it. So you have a couple of options. You can try digging a little bit farther away or you can try digging closer to the edge. I would recommend digging a little bit farther away. Sometimes it spawns farther out here than you would think. So I'm just gonna hop back over to the ocean biome that I was at and I'm gonna dig closer this way. Like I mentioned, the aether biome is pretty big. It's roughly about 200 to 250 blocks wide, so it's pretty hard to miss. Oh my goodness, there's a enchanted sword shrine in this world. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we hit it this time. Alright, so as you can see, the blocks turn starry, which means we have found the aether biome. I don't want all this water to go into it though, so I'm just going to quickly mine that away. And then we can go ahead and come on in. Now what's cool is it always has like this little walkway to it. And here it is. So in this world, it was about here. Now it can generate anywhere in the last fifth of the world or edge of the world. So you may have to dig a couple of tunnels to find it, but it will always be on the side of the jungle. And once you find it, as you probably already know, this is a super, super useful liquid. You can transmute things into other things and all of that jazz. So I hope this was helpful. Now. If you have an old world and you want to get the shimmer liquid into that world, there's really only one option for you, and that is to get a bottomless shimmer bucket. Now, to get a bottomless shimmer bucket, you have to defeat Moon Lord and then toss in a bottomless water bucket into shimmer. Now, if you just toss it in, nothing will happen until you beat Moon Lord. Then once you've beaten Moon Lord, when you toss it in, you'll get a bottomless shimmer bucket, which then you can take with your character to your old world, and that is how you can get shimmer into your old world. Also, a couple interesting things to know is that you can move shimmer with pumps. 
So if you're wanting to move it around in your world but you've not beat Moon Lord yet, that is one way to do it. That's going to be it for this video. I hope this was helpful. The Aether Biome is super useful. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Terraria content, and I will see you in the next video.